My name is Tung Nguyen. Uh, I'm a physician uh, who work in uh, the University of California, San Francisco. Uh, I also do research on public health, health disparities using what I, we call community engaged research methods. Uh, most of my work is with Asian American populations uh, and I actually started out doing uh, Vietnamese American health work. Uh, I am also uh, a, a, a policy person. Uh, I have uh, started uh, two nonprofit organization. One is called AAPI Victory Alliance and the other is Pivot, the Progressive Vietnamese American Association. Welcome to the Vietnamese. I'm your host, Kenneth Nguyen. Being part of a culture of nearly 100 million Vietnamese people in the world today comes with a lot of pain, proud history, and privilege. Join me as I highlight and explore the Vietnamese experience from all over the world. Thank you, Anh Tung. It's a pleasure and honor to have you on the podcast. What does it mean to be Vietnamese to you? So uh, I will say that I don't know what it means to be Vietnamese, but I think I have some ideas what it means to be Vietnamese American. Uh, I struggle with my identity, uh, whether I was Vietnamese or Vietnamese American or American, uh, mostly most through my you know teenage and young adult years. Uh, and I, I remember the moment when I realized that I wasn't Vietnamese and that I was Vietnamese American. Uh, that was when I went back to Vietnam in 1993. Um, and I realized that the people there didn't think I was all that Vietnamese. <laughs> I didn't feel like I was Vietnamese there. Um, and then when I came back to the United States, I was pretty much settled in my identity as a Vietnamese American. Now, what does it mean to be a Vietnamese American? Um, I think that definition is going to change uh, with which generation you're from. But I think uh, the, the biggest thing uh, that means to be a Vietnamese American, number one, is that our, our origin is rooted in war and being a refugee and being in resettlement. Uh, so trauma, um, we have to understand that that's part of our identity, uh, whether or not you went to it directly or secondhand through your parents or grandparents. Uh, second, it's um, the ability, and I think this is a good thing, uh, to straddle two worlds. Uh, I, I, I think a lot of time when I was growing up, I was like, oh, I really want to have an identity. <laughs> and now, now I'm like, actually, it's good to have multiple identities. <laughs> and so, and even when they don't mesh, I don't care. I mean, I, I, I love it. I love having different points of view. I have, love being able to criticize myself. You know, oh, yeah, you know, here is what white and a white American person would think like. And I think like that. And then, oh, no, that's no good. Now, this is what a Vietnamese person would think like. And I think like that. So the duality of it. Um, uh, my brother and I both, my brother Viet Nguyen, who wrote The Sympathizer, had different approaches to the concept, but the whole underlying root for The uh, Sympathizer was this is a person from two different places and trying to reconcile those two identity, and he does it in a literary way. I do it in a more, um, uh, I, I major in philosophy in college, so I think about it more in terms of you know, philosophical underlying principles, but also um, as a physician too, I, I think about it in terms of that. So. Um, what it means to be Vietnamese American is that you get the best of both worlds. How's that? <laughs> Thank you for that. Did you and uh, Viet ever discuss this identity as you were both growing up? No, he and I had a very large gap uh, in, when we were growing up. I, I was, I think, six years older than he was. So when I was a teenager, he was, uh, you know, in elementary school. And by the time he became uh, old enough to talk about these things, I was away either at college or medical school, and then he went away to college. So we never really sat down and talk about it. And even now, when we do sometimes approach it, uh, we, we come at it from different angles. But I think we, you know, for me, the struggle was, I was Vietnamese, uh, how do I become Vietnamese American? And I think for him, I think he started out because he was so much younger, mm -hmm. uh, started out being, you know, American, you know, English speaking American, and then he, spent a lot of his, I think, a lot of his, you know, uh, young adult years reconnecting with his Vietnamese-ness. Uh, and I think he's done a great job of it. But uh, but I think we came at it from very different angles. Right. And how old were you when you arrived in the U.S.? I was uh, 10. 